Praise the Lord. It's Pastor Larry out doing a walk and talk this brisk Florida morning. Get a little cold front coming down. It's going to be here for a few days. I'm going to take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Anyhow, the Lord woke me up this morning about, I don't know, 3.30. And the scripture just started going through my mind. And one of the scriptures that popped up in my head was... Uh, found in Mark chapter 8 verse 36 when Jesus asked his disciples if a man was to gain the whole world and lose his soul what would it profit him and I began to meditate on that verse you know and that's that's where we are today in this world we're we're in a time when people have forgotten to look at the bigger picture eternity awaits us all folks and the most precious valuable most important thing you possess is your soul and if you lose your soul for eternity it doesn't matter how much wealth you've gained it doesn't matter how much fame you've gained it doesn't matter how much pleasure you've experienced all the memories all the life experiences, all those things, they don't matter. They don't matter at all because you're going to spend eternity somewhere. And if you have not invested in your soul more and above everything else in this world and you lose that soul for eternity, you've profited nothing, absolutely nothing. And there's so much I could say in this message that the Lord has given me, but I'm going to try to focus it down to what's most important. And it's not wealth, it's not fame, it's not popularity or riches, it's not, you know, education, it's not any of those things. Look at, you can look at all the wealthy people in the world and how many of them are miserable, how many famous people committed suicide, how many people have believed the lies of the enemy and destroyed their lives with pleasure and drugs and alcohol and all the things that people pursue in this world it means absolutely nothing but and, and your life is but a vapor it's here for a little while nobody's guaranteed of a tomorrow nobody has a promise of a tomorrow and uh, so what are you doing to prepare for eternity what are you doing folks and I'm not talking about joining some religion because a relationship with Jesus Christ is not about religion there's a lot of religion it's about obeying his word walking in fellowship loving your neighbor as yourself that's true christianity not some uh form or fashion or tradition and don't get me wrong biblical traditions are important the doctrine is important paul told timothy we're saved by doctrine so you got to have the correct doctrine but Jesus gives that to his disciples and his disciples and his apostles preach it in the book of Acts and so many people believers leave the book and imply their own interpretation which is which is wrong and and leads to deception but uh, so anyhow I'm just I'm just trying to wake people up and help them understand that the most important thing you can do is invest in your own soul you know and if you don't believe in god well what hope do you have in this world then what 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 future do you have what what purpose do you have i mean you can scoff me you can laugh at me you can make fun of me and call me just a christian conspirator <laughs> That's a famous buzzword to use now for anybody you disagree with. Just call them a conspiracy, conspirator. But you can you can do all that, okay? You can you can laugh at me, but one thing you can't laugh at is death. 
It happens to all of us. And if I'm wrong, then I've done nothing but live a good life. I've done nothing but be kind to my fellow man. I've done nothing but try to make the world a better place. But if you're wrong, you have an eternity separation from God. And that's the real hell, being separated from the one who gives life, from the one who, who is the creator of all things, from, from God who is pure love. That's the true hell, being separated from the one who fills the universe. And that's, that's something I don't want to live without. So, what are you doing? Are you pursuing the things of this world more than the things of God? Are you pursuing the enjoyments of life, the pleasures of life, the wealth of life, the things of this world more than anything, more than God, the more than your eternal security? Because that's where eternal security lies, not in just believing in God and accept him as your personal savior, but pursuing the God, but pursuing God every day of your life. That's why Jesus said, pick up your cross daily and follow me. This is a, this is a lifelong process. If you, if, you, if you buy a ticket from Florida to New York City or on a train ride, if you get off that train anywhere along the way, you're not gonna make your destination. That's the way uh, eternal security works. If you want to make it to that destination, you got to stay on the train. As long as you stay on that train, you're going to be secure. But the moment you get off that train, you become lost again. So don't, I'm not into a theological debate. I'm not looking for it. I'm just looking at you. I'm just trying to encourage you to, to read the word of God, to have a prayer life, to to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that all these things might be added unto you. So, this is Pastor Larry. I'm just a voice in the wilderness trying to bring hope, trying to bring joy, trying to bring truth and salvation to the world. I'm just a voice in the wilderness trying to wake people up, folks. All right, so I pray and hope and ask that you would consider the things that I'm telling you. Hallelujah. And just think about it. If a man gains the whole world and loses his soul, what has he profited? Nothing. Nothing. And it's appointed on a man wants to die, folks, and then the judgment. And we're all headed to the same place, like it or not. That judgment seat. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. It's been Pastor Larry. Just trying to wake souls up. Hallelujah.